Hi everyone, how's it going? I've just been thinking out loud again, you know, the old maladaptive daydreaming and the old, what do you call it? It's maladaptive daydreaming. I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, I was just thinking that's going to be really loud in the background. I apologize. I was just over here thinking about something. And this is something that's going to be really controversial for me to say. And I know that everybody's going to be like, oh, no, it's not true. I like, just bear with me for a second, right? Most people who are gang stalked or who are targeted individuals, one of the things that is said about TIs as a whole is that they're crazy, right? And that mental health is used to cover up um, and conceal crimes that have been inflicted on the target. In my case, though, there is a grain of truth to that. A lot of people have called me crazy. A lot of people have called me mad because, you know, there are things that I've done that are irrational, that not normal behavior, right? I think there's a grain of truth to what they say. Maybe I am crazy and maybe I am mad. And I feel like the reason why I was offended by what they were saying about me like that, it's because not only were the people that I hated right about something, I knew they were right about that. I think there was a, a deep down like, part of myself that knew they were right when they were saying that. But I think the main reason why I was offended by them saying that was because they were using my madness and my craziness or my eccentricity, let's be real, to cover up the fact that I was being murdered, trafficked and tortured. They were using my mental health not only to lie about the fact that they were murdering, torturing and trafficking me, but also to use that madness as justification for trafficking, murdering, and torturing me. There are worse things to be in the world than crazy. Way worse. There's worse things to be in the world than mad. A thousand times worse. As TIs, we see it every day. There are worse things to be than crazy. A lot worse. And... I don't think we really understand. I'm so sorry about that noise in the back, background. That's gonna piss me off when I play this back. I don't think we really grasp how evil it really is. Not for them to say you're mad, not for them to say you're crazy. People call each other that all the time. I don't think people grasp how evil it truly is to use somebody's mental health issues or to use somebody's eccentricities or even to use somebody's irrational behavior to justify killing people, to justify trafficking people, to justify repeatedly engaging in hate crimes against people. I don't think people understand how evil that actually is and I don't think even TIs understand fully how evil that is, which is why they constantly try to run away from the mad or crazy tagline. If you knew how truly, who, how evil it was, like how truly evil it is, to use somebody's mental health issues or eccentricities to lie about the fact that you're abusing them, to abuse them in the first place, that reveals a level of evil in our abusers that not only are our abusers not willing to deal with, but that we're not actually willing to deal with either. I'm willing to admit that I'm crazy and that not a lot of TIs are like me. And that craziness is the reason why I have been able to survive gang stalking, not only survive gang stalking for this long, but to actually have some semblance of power and control over my gang stalkers. I could not do that if I didn't prove them right 
and I wasn't crazy, I couldn't do it without that because now they're watching every single thing that I say to myself and they're building their whole gang stalking around it. What does that give me? It gives me actual time to prepare for what they're going to do and it gives me increased knowledge of how to beat them because I keep feeding them information I'm the one feeding them and if I'm the one feeding them then I will have a clear idea as to what they're going to do because I'm the one who keeps feeding them information I wouldn't do that I wouldn't have that power and I wouldn't have that reach and I wouldn't have that ability to utilize that information to my advantage if I wasn't crazy because this is a crazy situation. You've got a situation in which a handful of people are trafficked, tortured and murdered by their neighborhoods, by their families. This is a crazy situation and it takes a crazy motherfucker to survive it. And not only survive it, to thrive in situations like this. So yes, I am crazy. It's true. I just didn't want it to be true. And ironically, the more I didn't want it to be true is the more crazy my behavior got. Because I'm trying to prove that I'm not, I'm trying to prove I'm not crazy. You're oh, crazy, ha ha, like, well, you're a murderer, ha ha. Like, right back at you. Like, <laughs> it's like, baby, uh, <laughs> there are worse things to be in the world than crazy. When you're up against a serial killer and you want to survive, it takes crazy because that's a crazy situation when you are in the, at the midst of gang stalking and you want to not only survive but you want to win against your gang stalkers it takes crazy because your gang stalkers are fucking crazy and gang stalking in and of itself is fucking crazy you better be mad you better be off your rocker because it's only that that is going to give you the insight as to how to get around crazy people and how to navigate a crazy situation you're damn right i'm fucking mad and crazy damn fucking right damn fucking straight ain't no way there is no way i would have been able to do half of what i've been able to do without that and it's only now that i'm starting to understand it's only now that i'm starting to get it and i, I just I'm a fucking boss. I'm mad, I'm crazy, and I'm a fucking boss. To be able to navigate this situation with as little as I have and the only the only arsenal I ever had like in my pocket was my craziness. That's the only arsenal I ever had. And that arsenal has carried me all the way to having immense power in two cities. Two. Over how many gang stalkers? I'm the one with the power. And it's because of my craziness, not in spite of it. Sometimes, what I realize is that sometimes in order to win over your enemies, sometimes you have to be what your enemies say you are. And you have to you have to turn their best insults against you into their worst nightmares. And it takes crazy to be able to do that. And also, with people calling you mad and crazy, like I said before, it reveals how evil these people really are. That they're willing to abuse you but not only are they not willing to stand in it, they're willing to use your mental illness to both abuse you and to cover up the abuse. It reveals their evil. It reveals their lack of character. It reveals how messed up they really are. Do you understand what I mean? It it, let them call you crazy because it reveals the narcissistic abuse for what it actually is. And I, you know, and I'm not going to blame myself for how I, emotional I was about their slurs. And, you know, no, they're not wrong. They, they're not wrong. It's just that 
the way in which they used that madness and craziness, they used it to get away with trafficking, torture and murder. I had every right to be angry. I had every right to be, you know, I just didn't know how right I was to be angry and I didn't know how to use that anger properly. I, I didn't know how to navigate that. You know, I didn't know how to navigate that anger. And it's very, very important as somebody who's a torture victim to know how to navigate your anger. And that's the first thing. You've got to know how to navigate your anger and know how to understand that your anger is justified. Nobody should be treating you like this, especially when they know you're vulnerable. Nobody should be treating you like this, ever. Your anger is justified, but you need to learn how to utilize it to your advantage and not theirs. That's the first thing you have to do. And the second thing you have to do is use that madness as an anchor to prove your gang stalking correct, to prove that your gang stalking actually exists. Because there is a way where you can use your mental health as a springboard to actually prove that abuse is going on. BPD comes as a result of narcissistic abuse and it doesn't just come from your parents. BPD comes as a form of narcissistic abuse. ADHD is um, a change in your chemical makeup that also comes from trauma. OCD comes from trauma. Where does the trauma come from? Use your mental health and your, you know, your eccentricity as a springboard. Don't run from it. If they accuse you of being crazy, don't run from it. Instead, look at how mental illnesses actually work and look at how trauma actually works. You don't just become mentally ill out of nowhere. You, you don't just get that out of a puff of smoke. It comes from somewhere. It comes from intergenerational trauma, so that's got to be looked at. It comes from the trauma of your environment, your schooling, college, uni, wherever you want to call it. So you've got to look at that too. You've also got to look at your home life. Are there people in your community bothering you? What's going on there? How is that being dealt with? How are your authorities dealing with the, the harassment and stuff that you're going through? Look at every single facet of your life. Mad and crazy do not come from nowhere. Use that as your anchor. Use that as your anchor. Do not let them get away with just saying that to try to disprove what you're saying. It doesn't disprove anything. If anything, it proves what you're saying. Use it as an anchor. My madness and my craziness are my anchors. They are what help me survive because when you're out in the midst of the jungle, when you're out in the midst of the jungle, which is exactly what gang stalking is, when you're out in the midst of the jungle, and only the strongest survive. How the fuck are you going to survive? You're going to survive with rationality? Are you going to survive by using the same fucking principles that they use in everyday society where there are houses and bricks and all that type of shit? Or are you going to revolve yourself around a jungle and play by the jungle's rules? What are you going to do? The irony if is if you put me in a situation where I had absolutely fucking nothing and I was in the midst of a forest somewhere and I was surrounded by dangerous creatures of all kinds, baby, I would thrive. Mad and crazy people, put them in the midst of that situation, especially when they're not vulnerable like me and they're just eccentric. Well, I am vulnerable. But put them in a situation where they have to kill to survive and they will show you what normal is. And I feel like that's my problem. I don't have to kill to survive. And ironically, that's probably one of the things that makes me crazy. Is that I don't have to kill to survive. I don't have to do that. And in fact, if I killed, I would be in a very adverse situation where I'd be in prison or worse. But sometimes when you take, when you rob somebody of the opportunity to, to do that, to like use physical might, when you rob somebody of the opportunity to do that in everyday life, it can affect their mind. Do you understand what I mean? That's why 
I kind of resent my my need for comfort and I resent my need for you know the trappings of like I kind of resent it I just want to be out in the woods killing something like maybe an animal some shit I don't know but like I, I know what people are going to say. Why would you want to kill an animal? Why would you not like? Just, just walk with me here. Because we're not talking about cows. We're talking about coyotes and shit. Like, that's that's what like somebody like me needs to be out there doing. We need to be out in the wilds. I've been in the civility of London where people don't say racist shit out their mouth. I've been in, this, in civilization where civilized people are. I don't thrive there. That's the point of being mad and crazy. You do not thrive in situations like that. But if you put me in a situation where I have to defend myself against the wild, sure, I'm not going to be out here being like, yeah, I can beat up anybody. But no, you can bet I'm going to be using this. And this is going to get me out of a lot of trouble. That's what's missing in the life of somebody like me that wildness that that natural that wildness that's what's missing i'm surrounded by people who are trying to get ahead in the world full of fucking lies of course it's going to turn me mad of course it's going to turn me crazy that's where i need to be i should just go on and do it i should just i should just tear, tear all this shit down right now just Sell off all my shit, go, go into the woods somewhere, just go into nature and hash that shit out. I would thrive. I know it. I would fucking thrive. It would take me a while, but I'd thrive. I know it. And I'm being held back from it. I'm being held back from it. Like, all my life has just been control, control, control. Baby, if you want to make me homeless, make me homeless then. You want to put me, you want to section me, section me. Put me in wild situations where I have to use my wits and my strength. Please. Because in, in a civilized environment, all I'm ever going to be is crazy. I can't use my killer instinct because it's against civilized society. It's not civilized to do so. I can't use my killer instinct I can't use the skills that I actually have, which would be amazing in situations of crisis and upheaval and wildness. I can't use it to my advantage. And it's just stifling me. It's just stifling me. And once I get out there and I'm able to do that, I think that, that that's what would make, would, would, honestly, that's what would make me less crazy. And that's what would make me settle down. You know, but, you know, the, the gang stalkers are right about one thing. Maybe not every TI. I think a lot of TIs are not crazy. And if you feel offended by being called that, again, I'm right there with you. I was offended myself. Maybe for different reasons to you. Maybe you're offended because it's just not fucking true. And if you're offended because it's just not true, then... I understand I'm with you on that but my diff my reasons for being offended were different to yours and it comes back to the same thing it's the lack of integrity all my life I've been surrounded by people who told me that I lacked integrity who told me that I didn't and they were the biggest liars and it's still happening now that's the thing that angers me. It's the lack of integrity behind one's actions. Fairness isn't just about, you know, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. It's about fucking integrity. That's what fairness is really about. It's not about fucking, like, just because somebody calls me a name, I have to call them a name. That's not what fairness is. Fair is you committing hate crimes against me because of my mental health issues and my eccentricity and when I confront you about it, you'd be like, yeah, I did that to you because I don't like you. And once I know that, it gives me the ability to decide how I'm going to defend myself against you. That's fairness. That's fairness. 
you being like, yeah, I'm going to commit hate, hate crimes against you because I don't like what you are. I don't like what you represent. Gives me the opportunity to be like, okay, I know what I'm dealing with here. How am I going to handle it? That's fairness. It's fairness for you to tell me, I enjoy torturing you. I enjoy abusing you. I even enjoy all of these things, knowing that it's killing you. I enjoy doing this to you. Because you're crazy and because you're, or you're black or because you're a woman and I don't like you. It is fairness for you to be like, I enjoy doing these things to you because like, that's why I, I can't be too mad at trolls because internet trolls will do this. But I don't, I don't like that they don't show their face. I don't like that they don't show their face when they say these things. That's why I don't get mad at people who say, oh, I want, I want you know black people to cry their eyes out because they're black and you know i want them to cry you know i'm i'm not mad at it because you're admitting your evil you're admitting your evil and you're giving me the chance to decide how i'm going to respond to that you're giving me a fair shot by revealing your intentions and revealing who you truly are just admit that you enjoy torturing me because you think, you know, just admit that you enjoy torturing me. That's fine. And when you do that, it gives me the opportunity. Yeah, I'll feel hurt for a bit, but then it gives me the opportunity for me to, to decide how I'm going to deal with the situation. It gives me a sense of agency. That's fairness. Fairness is agency. It's not tit for tat. It's not. You did this, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the same thing that you're doing. No, that's not fairness. Fairness is agency. Giving your enemies and your friends and everybody that you know agency over how they're going to handle situations that you put them in. And gang stalking is all about robbing you of your agency. Calling you mad and then like enjoying torturing somebody that you think is crazy and then using somebody's mental health or eccentricity to deny what you are. That's robbing somebody of their agency. It's evil. It's not just cowardly. It's evil. It's evil. It's way more evil than if you were to say to me, I enjoy hurting you. There is something about you I don't like. You represent something I don't like. And I, I enjoy torturing you. And I want to torture you out of existence. That's a lot more. For me that's a lot more honest. And it gives me time to prepare what I'm going to do. That's fair. That's fairness. But I, I'm, not in, I'm not in with this half ass shit. I don't like it. I'm crazy. I'm fine. Fine. I'm crazy. I'm mad. It's okay. It's okay. People have been telling me that since I was a child. It's not an issue. What is an issue is when you use that to do wrong, then deny it. Then cover it up because you're a fucking baby. Because you're a baby and because you don't like accountability. And I know what, you know, some people would say upon watching this video, oh, oh, we're just a bunch of monsters. It's just a bunch of monsters to her. No, you're a bunch of monsters to you. But you don't have the balls to admit it. You're a bunch of monsters to you more than me. Okay. It's up to you, mate. It's up to you. How you want to live your life, but don't take agency from other people. You're garbage for doing that. And that goes for gang stalkers, that goes for perps, that goes for anybody who likes to commit hate crimes and want to run behind, you know, run behind other people run behind in order to commit hate crimes you're garbage and you're cowardly
And, you know, another thing is committing hate crimes and immediately running to get back up so that you don't have to face the consequences. That's another form of trying to take somebody's agency away from them. Evil, cowardly. Again, gang stalking in a nutshell. I just wish that I hadn't been so hard on myself about feeling angry. It's okay though. It's not going to happen again. I love you guys so much, my fellow TIs. If you've made it this far into this rant today, uh, let me know how you guys are doing. I always want to know how you guys are doing. Okay? Peace and blessing. Hang on, hang on. Is that... Is that uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's always something. There's always something before I have to go somewhere. Or something I, I can never remember oh yeah medical records no that's not it I've already, I've already explained that at length yeah I think that's it so anyway peace and blessings if you've made it this far into the rant my fellow TIs let me know how you guys are doing how you guys are holding up I always want to know um, shout out to the TIs who have responded on my YouTube channel um, agree or disagree uh, I have nothing but love for you. Um, as far as I'm concerned, we're a family. TIs are a family. Agree or disagree. Okay. Anyway, take care. Peace and blessings. Uh, I've forgotten something. I'm sure I'll remember as soon as this video comes back up. Anyway, bye-bye. Take it easy.